Alright, so a uh, quick video showcasing Hylion's ERX Hypertruck, the demo version, and then I'm going to talk about um, competition, Hylion's competition that is, and um, recent price action. Over the last few months, it's been a lot of work, but I'm so proud of the team. We started getting the truck out of Peterbilt in Denton, Texas. We took the truck up to Michigan. We upfit it, we spec'd it out, drove it around, made sure it was safe, made sure that it rode smoothly. And now we're down at ACT in Long Beach, California, and we're so excited to show off the hard work. Act Expo is really the epicenter of the commercial fleet transportation world these days. Our exhibitors is, is really anyone and everyone who's in the transportation space who has a product or a solution or a fuel that can help commercial fleets to be more sustainable from an economic and an environmental perspective. The ACT Expo is really the clean tech show for this industry and the cool thing with that is a lot of what's being spoken about in the industry now is the new tech, right? It's, it's how are we going to make this industry cleaner, better for the environment. And so a lot of those new technologies that are on the cutting edge that are really going to evolve this industry are being showcased here at this show. The Hylion technology is awesome. It's sort of the best of all worlds. It has tremendous power. It can haul heavy loads up big hills. It has zero emissions where needed, 75 miles of electric only range with the ability to really have unlimited range and, and rapid fueling when needed. So it's, it's a really cool product. We've been preparing for this for roughly about three, four months, you know, from the initial idea generation to the execution, you know, involves many, many folks, internal and external, from logistics, messaging, how do we make sure that people understand what we do here at Hylion and what the benefits of our product is. Our teams at FEV as well as at Hylion have done an incredible job putting together the truck. I'm incredibly proud for it to be there, and I think people are going to be very excited to see it. So today is all about final preparation for our booth, completing the booth build, getting all of our team members here from across the country, and getting organized for tomorrow. We drove the truck into the booth, which we're very, very proud of. Seeing Alpha One is really exciting, and I, I think it's just a culmination of a lot of anticipation and excitement. It kind of feels like the Alpha One is finally here. Alpha One has been a really exciting process. There's been so much effort that has gone into it from engineering, product, graphic design, marketing, and so to be able to see it in person for the first time has been really exciting for the team. Our primary goal for this conference is to show to the world the products that our company has been diligently working on uh, for the last few years. So this is really the culmination of a lot of our efforts for the Hypertruck ERX as demonstrated by Alpha One, as well as the Hybrid EX program. So we've got two different products on display at this show. First is the Hypertruck ERX, which is the very spoken about vehicle that people actually hadn't gotten to see yet because of COVID. So this is the first time it's on display. And then we've also got our improved hybrid system. So uh, the engineering team has been hard at work and making some huge advancements to the product, both from like easier install, greater reliability, some improved performance of the actual system. And so that new and improved hybrid system is also going to be on display. We're very proud of what we have here. I feel like our presence is very strong and I think we're going to show very, very well. For those of you who are new to Hylion, it's an EV company, but the key difference between this company and other EV companies is that they generate electricity on board the vehicle. So they do that by using RNG, AKA renewable natural gas to charge a relatively small battery. The battery then powers the vehicle. So RNG charges battery, battery powers the vehicle, all on board the vehicle. So who is Tesla's or rather Hylion's competition? Well, it is Tesla. Okay, uh, so I did a search to see where Tesla is with the semi truck, which is meant to be the competition. And according to Wikipedia, they're not ready for production until 2023, which is a good thing for Hylian, first mover. Talking about the uh, price action and the technicals, recently a UBS analyst downgraded the stock from 14 to $5 a share. Now, in the past, I would have been really upset with this type of downgrade um, because yes, it could go to five. Now, the reason that they gave is that 
Halion, as well as many other companies, is having supply chain issues, right? Because of COVID. The way I look at it now is if it does go to five, what it means is that I can actually spend $5,000 to get 1,000 shares. I mean, I want it to go to five. I know it sounds crazy because I'm holding Halion at about 18, but I want it to go to five. Because at the end of the day, the plan from the beginning, from 2020, was to hold Hylion until 2024, you know, three, four years. Um, so if that remains the plan, then what's wrong with it going to five in the meantime? It just means you can get it way cheaper. Now, by the way, this is a $1.3 billion company. That is very tiny. The room for growth here is huge. It's immense. So yeah, um, by the way, if you guys want to um, stay up to date with what is going on with Hylion, I suggest you subscribe to their YouTube channel. Uh, just go on YouTube and search H-Y-L-I-I-O-N and do the same thing on Twitter as well. That way you don't have to wait for my video or anyone's video to, to know what's going on. And also, if you know someone who is interested in investing in an EV company, share this video with them because this is the company. This is the one. Uh, so uh, that is for today. So please finally engage with the video. Um, like, leave a comment, dislike. Apparently, uh, Mr. YouTube algorithm doesn't care whether it's a like or a dislike. So I don't care either. Just smash one of them. All right, guys, I'll see you at the next video. Peace.